Introduction to Power Flow Analysis Corrections and Comments on the HELM video In the previous Power Flow Analysis video of HELM, I said that in the power flow equation S equals to V entry y dot Y EQ V conjugate because the node admittance matrix Y EQ has rank N minus 1, where N is the number of nodes. We need a slack bus whose voltage is predetermined and fixed. However, as I rethink the problem for a while, I realized that this is not entirely true. Since YEQ is the Laplacian matrix in graph theory and the power network is well connected, it surely has rank N-1. But that does not necessarily mean we need a slack bus. We can see this by setting the power flow equation in the following form. YEQ V conjugate equals to S divided by V. Now because YEQ only has rank N-1, we do need to reduce the unknown variables from n to n minus 1. To do so, let us denote the new space of yeq as eta, which happens to be a vector that has the same value of 1 over square root of n for every entries when normalized. Let us do the inner product between eta and yeq v conjugate. Since yeq is symmetric, eta is also the left new space of yeq so we should have eta transport dot yeqv conjugate equals to eta transpose dot s divided by v equals to zero. So eta transport dot s divided by v equals to zero is the linking constraint we need to eliminate one of the n unknown variables in the power flow equation. Therefore, while setting up a slack bus is probably the most simple way to reduce the unknown variables. It is far from the only way. To demonstrate this idea, let us consider a possible scenario where the real and reactive powers on all the nodes are known. Then we can reduce the unknown voltage values by setting up the linking constraint S0 divided by V0 plus S1 divided by V1 plus S2 divided by V2 plus dot 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 plus s n minus 1 divided by v n minus 1 equals to 0. To solve this type of power flow equation in HELM, we need to introduce two additional vectors. W equals to 1 over v and W hat equals to 1 over v hat. As before, we let W and W hat be power series of lambda. To indicate the specific entries of the vector W at each node, let us denote the case power of W at node number i as WKI. The same denotation applies for W hat. Then the term by term matching process in HELM will involve solving the following set of equations for each power term k. The first line corresponds to the original power flow equation. The second line corresponds to the fact that W and W hat are inverse of V and V hat, respectively. The third line corresponds to the linking constraint. Because of this line of equations, WK0, VK0, W hat 0, and V hat 0 are completely determined by the rest of the variables. So the system of equations in the first line can be reduced to having only n-1 unknown variables, as was the case where a slack bus exists. So what does it actually mean when the node admittance matrix YEQ has rank n-1? Since YEQ eta equals to 0, we will always have a non-zero trivial high voltage solution for the power flow equation. Therefore, the fact that YEQ has rank N-1 guarantees a non-zero trivial high voltage solution exists, but it does not imply the necessity of a slack bus.